Good morning, everyone. Mr. D and EB, got it right this morning. <clears throat> We're a bit sleepy heady this morning, aren't we, Bear? Oh, it doesn't look like he's even going to talk to me. No, no, he's cranky. He thinks I got him up early and he hates getting up early. You see, it's daylight saving here. And um, sleep is not something the sleepy bear is very happy with. He would prefer to stay up all night and then sleep all day. You see, um, sleeping is a real issue for many, many, many ADHDs. And because ADHD affects two parts of the brain, it affects the, the limbic system and it also affects the frontal lobe. Yes, I know you've heard it before. The, the frontal lobe, the frontal cortex, where the executive functioning is. Now, the executive functioning is all about making good decisions. So if you're tired, like some people are because of daylight saving this morning, you're not going to be very good at making decisions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't stare at me. <laughs> and look, even people know that have people, the police know that if you haven't slept, uh, all night, it can have the same effect as um, as drinking, but it doesn't feel like it. So yeah, you can have very poor decision making when you're tired. So that's why I always rang the school and told them you're going to be unbearable if you haven't had a good night's sleep, because teachers need to know uh, if you haven't had a good night's sleep, because it makes it even harder to regulate your emotions, to uh, put in things uh, in place for a short-term uh, memory and for planning and organizing too. Yeah, I think it's between 40 to 60 percent of uh, uh, exceptional kids have trouble with sleeping and they might try uh, medications from their pediatricians uh, and uh, uh, get into a good healthy sleep routine because <laughs> it's really important to be able to make good decisions. We don't want you to be unbearable. I'm a dad. I can't help it. I've got to do things like that. Hmm. So if you're, uh, <laughs> if you get a message from your parents saying, well, you know, they haven't slept well, it's because of the implications on the executive functioning. Yep, sleep is a big one. In fact, I'll be talking with Dr. K later on today about something else which occurs with ADHD, and that's learning difficulties as well. Hmm. These things are called comorbidities. Yeah, I know. That's that's a big word early in this morning. Yeah. Okay.